Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Young Kilstra and we're at Dairy Farm from Saskatchewan, Canada. We're out in the field today. We're gonna to start our second cut of alfalfa. It feels like we were just out here doing the first cut, but as you guys can see, that second cut has come up pretty nice again. And we got some feed to chop. We just finished up our barley silage. That did phenomenal. I think, what do we chop? Around just over 500 acres, I think. And uh, we got an insane amount of feed on the yard right now. So this is the last crop that we're gonna do. And then we're done chopping for the summer already. It's been a little bit rough, I'm not gonna lie. We got a vibration in the gearbox on the chopper. So the old JF stall, we've been throwing parts at this thing like it's no tomorrow. Our gearbox has a vibration in it. So the shaft between the two gearboxes there, it's a little bent, so it vibrates. We've been snapping that bolt that's supposed to hold it still probably two times a day and for all we know it's kind of rattling this drive line we've swapped out the entire drive line as you guys know we have a parts chopper so we've been cannibalizing that thing just to keep this thing going the cast block that holds our grindstone for sharpening the teeth that broke stole that from the machine the bracket there that holds the orbit motor for twisting the spout broke that these gearboxes are actually the ones from that other chopper as well because these are the ones that are in better shape believe it or not this whole drive line has come out of the other chopper and we even borrowed the front part from another farm who has a parts chopper another jf stall so just all kinds of stuff has been breaking our knives are worn completely down but it's such a big job to take them all out and put new ones in so we're hoping to get another 2000 ton chopped of this alfalfa before we need to completely replace those knives so that's the position we're in we are uh it's about a mile and a half haul right now round trip back to the yard so it should go quick today we'll see how it goes I just cleaned our inoculant applicator out. There was mold growing in there after a week of doing barley silage. So she's all clean, ready to go. Hopefully we have a good go at the second cut of alfalfa here because I, everyone's ready to be done, myself included. I would, I'd like to be done chopping. We're almost out of tires as well to cover the plastic. So yeah, it's, it's time we get done. I see our first truck of the day is pulling up here. It's Dennis. I asked him to bring a piece of cardboard for me to write the loads down because I totally forgot. We're doing so much this morning. Right on. Yeah. I can put uh, 5,000 loads on this thing, man. Oh boy. <laughs> I hope we're not doing that many. No. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So alfalfa usually chops a little heavier than barley. breaking these bolts well we just had another little breakdown shear bolt for the pickup just went it's in there and that happened because some of our pickup teeth are breaking off and then heading to the bearings Thank <laughs> you. 
So since we're stopped for that, I put it in sharpening mode. So we'll get these blades touched up and we'll be able to cook again. It's never a good sign when all the trucks are standing still. pretty good all things considered just having supper over there but we noticed that one of our u-joints here in the drive line i stopped chopping probably 20 minutes ago and it's still too hot to touch so this thing was absolutely cooking it smelled like burnt steel and you can see that u-joint it's given away so we got to be really careful with these drive lines because getting parts for these jf stalls is becoming harder and harder and we want to make sure that we can use it for more than just this year. So we're going to replace this right away. On a more positive note though, the alfalfa crop is looking phenomenal. With the exception of course, these flowers being in there. You don't want to see flowers in your alfalfa ever when you're chopping it. The feed value just goes down after that. But kind of got hung up on the barley longer than we wanted to. But uh, I think this is going to make some phenomenal feed. The stems are small, it's super leafy should turn into some rocket fuel for the milk cows. Here's dad and Brent, they just picked up some parts. Got the other drive line in the chopper. Probably got an hour of chopping left today before we shut it out. So try to get another 10 loads. We're doing almost 10 loads an hour when we're cooking. So I imagine that U bolt just went, a U joint, just because uh, that gearbox is shaking the way it is. Kind of has an effect of everything else on the machine. Close to being done. Just hold on a little longer. Just got back to the yard, gonna service the equipment. I'm just going back to the barn to grab my coveralls, but I see some progress has been made at the calf barn. Wowza. That, uh, yeah, they're ripping the front off of this barn, eh? That's exactly what they're doing. I don't know if I've told you guys yet, but we are expanding this individual pen calf barn this year. We're gonna add 32 feet to it for a total of 32 new pens. And that's kind of as far forward we can bring the barn before it kind of buggers up the yard. Uh, we finished building this barn, I believe in 2019. So five years later, we're adding on to it. And the first step of course is tearing off the front we did have six overhead doors in there and we took those as aside we're gonna put those back in of course so they're all taken apart set aside over there beside the barn but yeah they're gonna frame up some more barn we didn't build anything last year which was the first year that we didn't build anything I think for four years since we started building in 2018 so I don't know, I like to see building. It's fun to watch stuff grow. And uh, this is the project for the summer, as well as the cheese building. Haven't started on that yet, but that should be kind of going at the same time as this, I imagine. Same guys building it, but we'll service that equipment.